fair question, honestly. The, I, I think it's, it, it, it is, it is, a, it is a, a fair question. I mean, the, the thing is that, um, yeah, like, like I, I, I want to try, I'm try to frame this correctly. And, and obviously, anything I say, the, the legacy media is going to take a sound bite uh, out of what I say and, 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 mis and misconstrue what I'm saying, um, which is something they've done with President Trump many times. It is very important. If you if you heard something bad about President Trump, listen to his whole speech. That's actually very important. You know, um, and uh, you know, on, on January six, I mean, his statements on that day, he told people to back down. I mean, he said he said, "Do not do violence," and, and then people were like saying, "Well, that's actually some sort of dog whistle about doing violence." I'm like, "What are you supposed to say?" You know, he, he did actually tell people to, to uh, not, not be violent. He recommended uh, that uh, the National Guard be deployed. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said no. Don't believe I don't, I so, he didn't call for any violence, exactly. And if you look at, the, like, while it obviously, you know, I think it was, you know, and like the level of disruption uh, was was high, and I, I I don't I don't applaud any any kind of uh, damage to public property, of course, um, that you know. But it's you know so the media tries to characterize January sixth as some, some some sort of violent insurrection, which is simply not the case. I mean, that is false. Um, So, you know, I, I, I would take, I think, probably what I think is the reasonable middle ground, which is I, I disagree with the level of protest, but it's, it is, is in, was in no way a violent insurrection. You know, the, the, so that there's got to be a lot of guns for it to be a violent insurrection. Um, and, uh, and, and, and there were, um, there were a lot of strange things from a vote, in terms of voting irregularities that are hard to explain. So, uh, what, 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 it's, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there were things that are statistically unlikely, let me put it that way. Um, and, and so, it, it's not as though the Jan January 6th protesters had, that their protests had no merit. They had some merit. I disagree with the, the magnitude of what they did, but I, I, I I, but it's, it's not as though there were no issues. There were actually, there were issues. Um, and, and we have this weird situation in America where uh, it is almost impossible to prove fraud in it because if you've got no voter ID and mail-in ballots, how do you, how do you prove fraud? Um, and, you know, and, and it, it does seem more than a little odd that we don't have voter ID. And, and, and then you look at, say, states like California, which is supermajority Democrat, they passed a law banning voter ID in any election whatsoever. Now, how is that supporting democracy? That's not supporting democracy. Um, I mean, that's insane. Almost every country on earth has voter ID requirements, but we don't. Why? And why do the same people that demanded vaccine IDs for you to do anything are the same ones uh -oh. who say no ID for voting? Uh -oh. Something doesn't add up. It doesn't, it doesn't add up, you know? So I, I, I actually think, I, I mean, my, my, my firm opinion is that those who, who say Trump is a threat to democracy are themselves the threat to democracy. Uh -oh.